Have you ever experienced somebody whose default answer was no? Have you ever had to accomplish something and you knew that the person who was helping you really wasn't trying to help you at all? In this episode of The Advanced Show, I'm gonna share five tips for helping no people say yes to you. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Brian Dixon and you are watching The Advanced Show, innovative tips and actionable strategies to help you dream bigger, take action, and keep moving forward. Dealing with people whose default answer is no is so frustrating. Whether you're trying to rebook a canceled flight, get your water service started by the county water district, or trying to establish home internet service on a Saturday, three things I've had to do in the last few weeks, you will encounter a lover of no. You can see it in their eyes. You can read it in their body language. You can hear it in their voice. No, 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 no. Sorry, no, no, no. Well, fear no more because I'm gonna share five tips that have actually worked for turning a lover of no into a liker of yes. First, approach with a smile. Okay, so this isn't always going to work, but it is the best and simplest tip for getting someone to grant your request. Smile, that's it, just smile. By smiling, you are standing out from almost everyone else that they've had to deal with every single day. Grumpy people, complaining people, hurried people, dissatisfied people, hungry people, sob stories, they don't work. They've heard it all before, but a smile is pretty rare too. Listen to their story. Remember that each person has a unique story. Try to connect with the person on a human level. Remember that even though they might work for the city government, they probably have a family, a hobby, a pet, something that they actually like. Now I'm not saying you have to become their best friend. Just find a way to make a connection. Connections open doors and build relationships. So ask questions. Do you like what you do? What's the toughest part? What do you love about it? Where are you based? Do you have any pets? Ask questions to help them tell their story and look for a way to build a connection. Three, constantly apologize. Do you wanna be right or do you wanna get your way? I've found that apologizing, and in fact, stating what they're probably already thinking shows that you are sensitive to their perspective and can help them warm up to you. Just a few weeks ago, I had to ship eight packages before a snowstorm hit our little town. I called the post office and asked what time they closed. And they told me two o'clock. So I showed up at 1.45. They weren't happy to see me. But instead of reminding them that they said they were gonna be open until two or that the customer is always right, I used self-deprecating humor and apology. Can you believe I waited 10 minutes before closing to drop these packages off? I'm so sorry, you must, be, you must be really ready to go home. Listen, next time I'm gonna get here really early. Apologizing doesn't make you look like a genius, but it might increase the level of sympathy they have for you, which can help you get what you want. Four, know when to give up. Sometimes you are dealing with someone that you just can't win over. There isn't enough time. They aren't gonna help you anyway, or they don't know the answer. When it comes to customer service of a larger company, I have found that I can just call back and get another agent on the phone. I then use the knowledge I gained from working with the first agent to better position my request with the second agent. If you are hitting a brick wall, politely hang up and dial again. Five, dress the part. One way to help somebody say yes to you is by being someone that they usually say yes to. Play the role of a company CEO, a frequent flyer, or VIP. It's amazing how what you wear and how you carry yourself can impact the response that you receive. This one tip alone has changed the way that I travel. I found that wearing a suit increases the free upgrades I receive and the way that I'm treated. Look the part of someone that they say yes to and you'll find them saying yes to you more often. And now for a bonus tip. Once the transaction is complete, whether or not you actually got them to say yes, ask, what could I have done differently to get what I wanted? This one question has led me to learning about online reservations, VIP clubs, discount codes, and other ways to work around the system. Simply asking, if I were to do this again, how could I have done it better? Will often result in them sharing a tip with you that you can use in the future. No matter how tight the system is, there's usually an override function. Figure it out 
and you'll know the right way to approach asking the next time. So what about you? Do you have a story about how you turned a no person into a yes person? If so, tell the story below. I'd love to hear it. For more practical tips and actionable strategies to help you advance your life and work, click here to subscribe to The Advanced Show. I'd also like to invite you to become an Advanced Insider. This is my free VIP group where you receive new training, info on upcoming workshops, and exclusive downloadable resources. Click this button right here or visit theadvancedshow.com slash insider. Thank you for watching The Advanced Show and remember, today is your day to advance. It's good in a good flow. That's it's all about flow. <laughs> Whoops. You can read it in their body length. Number, 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 number two. Two. Garbage can on a Monday? This doesn't make sense. Why would there be a garbage can? I mean, garbage truck. Why would there be a garbage truck? Garbage truck break. There it is. A lot of garbage today, apparently. Oh, the suburbs. Smile when your heart is hurting. I got that gadget flow. I got that. Feels good to be back.